Hey there kids, welcome back. David from Atomic Candy and right now I am open by chance. And what I'm opening up with for you here today is a stack of vintage board games that come from a thrift store haul. A thrift store haul. And I wanted to share this because when I find stuff like this, I just like to reach out and show everybody because it's getting damn near impossible to get a haul of anything halfway decent at thrift stores anymore, isn't it? They've caught on to the idea that they get a lot of vintage and retro and even antique stuff and they have their so-called experts whose job it is to go through eBay and find the highest possible asking price on something and then put it out in their little magic case in the front of the store and try to get an outrageous price for it. But every once in a while, something slips through the cracks and that's what's going on here today. These slipped through the cracks and I scooped them all up and I'm going to show you what I got. I'm gonna share this with you. So let's move over here to my little workstation and I'm gonna pull these down and show you show you what I have and show you what I paid for it because the prices are still on it. I haven't even really opened these yet. So I'm gonna start off right here. This is Super Spy by Milton Bradley and this is I believe the 1970s edition and you see the price is still on it. It's upside down but that's 99 cents and that's from Goodwill. Most of these are from Goodwill. You see it there, 99 cents for the Super Spy. The electric alarm game, it says. Oh, there it is, 1971 Milton Bradley. 1971 Milton Bradley. And this is cellophane, and I'm very happy about that because most of the time, Goodwill, Value Village, Amvets, wherever you go to, they love tape don't they? And if you pick this up anywhere else, it would have a mile of tape on it. And I just am pleased that they used saran wrap. And if you're wondering why I've got like black all over me, it's because I was using liquid rubber to seal a leak on the outside of the house and I got some on me. It doesn't come off very easily. But we're going to go ahead and start opening these up and taking a look at condition and how complete it is and everything else. And there is a piece of tape and that piece of tape is probably been put on there by whoever owned this game previously. And I'll just go ahead and cut that open carefully here. And the tape I can get off later on with a hair dryer. I don't know if anyone has seen that video. I've done that video in the past where I demonstrated removing tape and price tags and stickers with a hair dryer. It will peel away and come off. It's a bunch of cards, a dice. So you've got a stack of cards. I don't know how many cards are supposed to be with this, but here's a bunch of cards. There's this dice and there's two red ones. I'm gonna assume, yeah, two red and two green. I bet you these are the dice that are supposed to be with the game. And a couple of field agents. <laughs> That's clever. Here we go. Some little people pegs. And I've got one more spy that doesn't have a post to stand on unless it's perhaps underneath. And it's like a little building. It looks like a little building. It's interesting. Oh, and it is battery operated. Okay. So battery underneath. I can't even get this out. Here we go. Something else shifting around inside of this. And I guess I'll have to open that up at some point to see what's in there. All right, cool. I don't know how, like I said, I don't know how complete this is yet. I'll have to go over it. But for 99 cents, I'm not complaining. And let's open up the next one. Which is Masterpiece, the art auction game by Parker Brothers. And this looks like the 70s version because this, this game has been done a few times and this looks like the 70s version 
and this one was 292 and again these will come off with a hair dryer let's go ahead and cut that cellophane off and take a look at the masterpiece game there's a board it's a little dusty but that's all right board's in good shape just needs to be dusted off a ton of art cards and these are photographs of real art cash wish it was real bags let's see what's inside the stuff in these bags are they supposed to be open? It's tied on there pretty tight. Let's see what's in there. It's a little pencil and some dice and such. Okay. Oh, and this is the pencil too. No, it says uh, Sports Illustrated Handicap Golf Game. Let's put that to the side. I don't know what the purpose of these bags are. Uh, I don't know what that is. Some other types of cards. Huh. Masterpiece value cards. Alright, that is part of the game. A bunch of clips, some playing pieces. I don't know if there's anything else in here. And I'll again I'll sort through this in greater detail later. Nothing under there. No instructions. I won't know what to do. A little bit sloppy there, but I can go through this a little bit later on in better detail. Hot Wheels, the Wipeout game, and this looks like 60s. Yeah, there we go. Look, uh, 1968 Mattel. And this was also 292. Corners appear to be in good condition. You see inside of the box with the instructions here. board. Wipeout. Race game. Wow, very 60s style to the whole board game. That's kind of interesting. I like that retro look to it. And we have a wheel. Wheel of Misfortune. Since it is a wipeout game, it works. Three superchargers, and it says there's supposed to be four of these, so three are missing, and I guess that goes on there like that. One, two, three, and this handle's broken, unfortunately. That clip is from the other game. <laughs> okay, all four of the cars are here. There's all your race cars. I know, not what you expect from Hot Wheels, right? And these little discs. Is that 9, 10? And it says there's supposed to be 12 of these, so there's two missing. All right. So this is not complete, although the box is in good shape. Nothing on the bottom. This next one is not a game. It's actually a puzzle. It's from the 90s, Warner Brothers spa uh, Strange Space Tales. 99 cents, Goodwill. And it's full of $100 bills. No, I wish. 
No idea if this is complete or not. It's a thousand piece puzzle. I'll have to count it up later on and see. But for 99 cents, I was like, yeah, what the heck, right? From the Warner Brothers. Is that Warner Brothers store? Yeah, it is from the Warner Brothers store. Big League Baseball by 3M. 292. Baseball games, any kind of sport games for the most part, are usually not worth very much aftermarket. Copyright 1966, Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing Company. Okay. And this is vinyl. It's pretty dusty, but that should clean off rather nicely. Again, really loving that they wrap this in plastic. There's a snap here. Best wishes to Jimmy from... Who? Howard, Mary Jane, and whoever that is. Loopy. <laughs> I guess they didn't want their, uh, their gift. Little dice. Pencil, pads of paper. Is it? No, I'm sorry, pads of paper. They're not post it notes, they're cards. Little cards. Baseball players, six of them. Look like little runners. Go in there like that, I guess. Yep, six runners, three red, and. Two black, there's a black one missing. Oh well. Innings card. And your stats disc. I don't know if anything's missing from this. I'll have to look at it a little more closely later. Besides the one player. And this does not come out. It won't. This there's just a cardboard filler underneath, but this tray won't lift out. There's the playing field there. Again, this probably isn't worth a whole heck of a lot because it, sports games usually don't hold much water. Really, the most valuable board games often, in my experience, are games associated with movies or TV shows because it crosses genres. Tournament Golf, Green Valley Country Club. It's just like golf without the walking, so the game's boring. Okay, I'm just kidding. I know some people like golf. Two ninety-two for this one. And how do you open it? Is there a flap or does it lift out? Okay, I guess, uh, yeah, here we go. A bit odd. It's a big board, two sided board. Look at that. And then the other side, it's a little grid. Nothing under there. Some directions. Some T's. I guess those are your pieces. And a ton of uh, dices with, or dice, plural and singular, right? Instructions. Scorecards. So somebody actually played this at least once since only one scorecard is filled out. Okay. I'll put that back together in a minute since it slid out. Twenty-eight 
20 questions. Classic game of people, places, and things by Milton Bradley. This one was 99 cents at Goodwill. Everything that you should get in there. 1988 Milton Bradley. This is a game that's been done over a few times too. Sure, board game or your board. Lots of cards. Card tray. Playing pieces. Looks like everything is there. This is what I like to see. The instruction manual being in here is more interesting to me than anything else. I mean, not the instruction manual, but the catalog here that shows the other games that they have. Kerplunk, Buckaroo, Crossfire, Hands Down, Frustration, Don't Break the Ice. Anybody remember any of these? Ghost Castle, Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur, Connect Four, Yahtzee, Hero Quest, Game of Knowledge, Go for Broke, Mysteries of Old P. King. I don't remember that one. Game of Life, Hotel, and Hotel is probably based on the uh, on the TV show. It might be. I like looking at these old catalogs. This one is actually from Value Village. It's not from Goodwill. And this is Creative Imagineers How to Draw Cartoons by Irwin. And it is sealed. This has not been opened. The flap is loose over here where the glue gave out, but this has not been opened. And this was 99 cents. So I figured, why not? Here's one. Sports Illustrated Baseball Game. The most realistic Major League Baseball game ever devised. Is it? I have no idea. $2.92. Nothing on the back. And of all the games that are here, this one is probably the most valuable. So, okay, that's what that is. And... This is still wrapped. This has not been used. Look at that. Oh, no, I take it back. It has been used. So a couple of pages have been filled out. I guess they just kept the sleeve that these came in. But yeah, a couple of pages have been filled out, so it's been played a couple of times. I guess that should show you everything that's in there. That's what this is for. So those sacks that were in the other game belong with this. So I'll have to dig those out and put them with this game to make it complete. All right, I'm glad I saw that. A scorecard. A little ruler of some sort. Instruction page. Oh, that's an advertisement for their golf game. And... This is their golf game. So the golf game is in the same box. So the golf... Okay. Somebody combined a couple of things together here. I don't have the box for the golf game, though. Just the pieces. So this is actually a whole nother game that's been put into the same box with the baseball. This is the baseball. And I just gotta get the I just have to get the pouches out of the other board game and put it with this. And then I have the golf one. I don't know if this is complete or not. And I'll have to keep that separate. I, I was just saying that out of all of them, this one's probably worth the most, because I know that depending upon how complete it is, this game will sell from anywhere from $100 to $400, depending upon condition and completeness. This one's actually worth a few bucks. Not sure about the golf game, though. Not sure about the Sports Illustrated golf game, but this 
could be almost complete except for the box. So that's a, that's a nice little treasure there. Pac-Man, a card game featuring the characters from the popular arcade game. $2.92 at Goodwill. Nothing on the back. It's a tray and a whole bunch of cards. Oh, you sad little ghost. See how sad they are? Pac-Man's a bully. <laughs> and some variety of playing boards. I guess it's for four players since there's four of these. No instructions that I see unless it's on the inside of the thing. Okay, here, yeah, there's your instructions. That's uh, cool nostalgic, you know, I grew up in the Pac-Man era, set those there for now, Pop-O-Matic Trouble, and this one is $2.92, and hold on a minute, let me pull something out here, Going back to the game catalog that was in the other thing, there's the same exact game called Frustration, also by Milton Bradley. I guess they changed the name at some point, but that is the same, the same game that has changed the name. And if you don't remember this, basically, this, uh, this one's not sealed up. That's all it is. You get this little board and you put the pegs in. You have four pegs on each side, right? Is it all here? Four, four. Yeah, there's enough pieces here. Four, 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 and four. And you press the bubble and it pops the dice and tells you how many spaces that you can go. And I guess this is like tamper proof so that you can't you can't cheat. You can't cheat with rolling the dice. There's actually five red ones and four of every other color, but you're supposed to have four, I believe. I suppose uh, you're supposed to have four for gameplay, up to four players. I had this one when I was a kid. Out of all of these, this would probably be the one that I'm going to keep. There's something else under there. I just felt that. Here we go. More game catalogs. There's Trouble, advertised as Trouble. Headache, which is like a triangular version of... Trouble, same thing. Mouse trap. Who remembers this? Don't break the ice. Cootie operation. Torpedo run. Pig pong. Hungry, hungry hippos. That's a classic. Don't spill the beans. Ants in the pants. Feed me. Feed me, Seymour. Cat's eye. Super jack or super jock. Basketball. Super Jock Football, I remember those. Bed Bugs and Twister. Again, I love it when the catalog is in there. Yeah, and I still got one more, just one more. And that is Domino Rally. Domino Rally, the glow in the dark ghost ride edition. And this is not from Goodwill, this is another one that came from Value Village, and it cost me $2.91. Why $2.91? Because Value Village prices things weird. And this one has a mile of tape on it. There's, see, there's tape all over it. Again, I'll use a hair dryer to get all of that off, get it off safely. But, I mean, come on, Domino Rally. And if can I even get into this safely? <laughs> is all the freaking tape. I'll cut the edges of the tape and just take a look in here real quick. Because, I mean, come on, it's Domino Rally. And remove all the tape properly later on. And this is what's in here. Don't know how complete that is. You see all the glow-in-the-dark parts. There's the skull, the dominoes, the 
trays, spider's web. <laughs> a guillotine. There's your skeleton on the hangman's uh, noose there. He's a little tangled up, but I'd try to escape too. There he goes. This is just this is just cool. And for three dollars, I mean, why not, right? It's domino freaking rally, folks. And oh, with the instructions, of course. Oh, the box just tipped over, but it's okay. And that is my thrift store game haul. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Do you think I did a good job? Do you think I had a decent score of different items from the thrift store? Good games. Let me know what you think. Is there anything there that you had when you were a kid? Is there anything there that you wish you had again? Tell me about it in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear about it. Because you know we're all about the nostalgia here. That's really what the channel is all about ultimately. You know, we love talking about vintage toys and movies and TV shows and all that. So tell me what you think. Do you think I did a good job? Think I got lucky there? Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope that you did. Like it, share it, subscribe if you're new. Check out some of our other videos. We do a lot more than just thrift store hauls. We get a lot going on here and we'd love to share it with you. Check us out on Instagram, open by chance on Instagram. And we will see you again soon. So thanks for watching.